Hello viewers, welcome to QTP functional testing videos, myself today. In this video, I would like to demonstrate to you about how to schedule QTP test. In general situations, uh, we have to execute some sort of tests repetitively at a, at a specified time, like you know, some of the batch processing that will be triggered some during night right in the same way if you want to execute some sort of test like you know that can be scheduled at any specific time like you know na na during night batch processing or whatever it is whatever the automation that you have done you don't execute during your daytime but most of the people what they prefer to do is like they will put all those tests and they will schedule those batch sometime overnight okay those tests will be executed overnight and by the time you come in the morning it will execute all your tests and it will show you the result right that is the general scenario so i'm not going to cover uh, like you know batch processing and scheduling everything in this video but i will be covering all the batch processing and how to schedule that batch processing in my next videos but in this video, I am mainly concentrating on scheduling a single QTP test. Okay, it's kind of heads up for that, uh, uh, like you know, scheduling a batch processing, but it just give you an overview. Okay, so for in order to schedule any QTP test, it's a kind of a three-step process. Okay, so in the first step, what you have to do is you have to create your own QTP test and save it in your file system. Okay, for this demonstration purpose, I have a sample test which just prints just hello world. That's it. I'm just saving this test in my file system. Okay, so once i have like but in your case it can be any like you know it may have multiple actions and uh, whatever it is okay it can be a bit complex test okay so once you have your test ready what you have to do is uh i think uh you need to have a understanding of uh understanding the concept called aom aom stands for automation object model before going to AOM, I just want like you know mention one point here. If you have to execute any QTP test at a specified um, specified time, say uh, 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. 10 a.m., what you will do? You just open this QTP tool. After that, you will open your test and you will run this test, right? So. In the same way, we can automate these operations through script. Okay, that automation is called automation object model. Okay, that is a quick introduction about AOM. People who are more interested in AOM, go to help file and you will see, as you can see here, automation object model. This is there in advanced substances it has like you know all the operations whatever we are configuring here in qtp all those operations can be configured through scripts okay that is what we call as automation object model okay so whatever the operations i am like you know if you have to schedule if you have to execute this script at a specified time what you will do you open qtp tool and all right i need to write the script to do that okay so this is the aom script i need to perform right so what basically this script will do is i am just creating a qtp object i am launching qtp and making it visible true okay once the application is open i am just opening this test okay whatever i am showing here this is my test one which is stored in e drive okay i am giving that path here okay i am opening that uh, true stands for uh, the test will be executed in read only mode okay after that whatever the test that i have i am use i am assigning that to qt test object okay so qt test dot run what it will do is it will execute the text okay whatever the text that we have given here that text will be executed 
okay i'm just putting a uh, you know uh, 10 seconds sleep just to make sure that uh, like you know the hello world uh, print message should be displayed for 10 seconds if i didn't put that wait what it will do is it will just open it execute in a fashion of second and close qtp okay to show that uh, uh, execution i just put a 10 seconds wait after that what i am doing is i am just closing the test and after that i am closing qtp and i am releasing the memory for the objects which i have created earlier here okay so for this i'm not sure how many people you know about uh, working with cps so i will be you know giving this code also in my post okay you just copy this post uh, like you know this code into a notepad and save this as a dot .vbs so what i am trying to say here is people who are not familiar in writing vbs code right so whatever the code i am giving here i will post this code in my post okay just copy it in here and just save this file as some whatever the file you want okay save some tam batch execution or something dot vbs okay so, my bad one second say some temp dot vbs okay you just save this file as temp dot vbs okay so once you save the uh, this it will save with a dot vbs file extension and save okay it will be saved like this okay so before scheduling this test what you have to do is you just make sure like whether the uh, once you copy this code right just make sure execute this test once to make sure that the test is executing properly okay how to execute it you just double click on the vbs file as you can see qtp is launched it opened the test after that it printed hello world okay so it displays the whole test and everything for 10 seconds after that it closed qtp okay so this is my second step now my third step is i need to schedule this test okay for that what i have to do is presently i am using win7 machine for that to schedule a test what you need to do is you just in the run what you have to do is give task scheduler okay once you see this you just click on it okay in the task scheduler you just click on create basic task okay i will give you the uh, how to uh, create a schedule test for win xp i will i will also explain you that one as well but because i am using win7 at this moment i am explaining you uh, scheduling tests in win7 machine because i am using win7 this is how we need to do so you just click on create basic test okay just give any name so this is qtp that's execution okay you can give whatever the description that you want you just click next so this is how like you know if you want to execute this test daily or whether you want to execute this weekly or monthly one time or whenever the like you know computer these are the different options available to schedule your test so if you want to execute the script daily choose this option if you want to execute it weekly weekly option based on your requirement you choose the required option because i just want to execute it for one time now i will just choose this option this is for just demonstration purpose right? for that reason i just choose one time just click on next as you can see my time here is 12 5 now i want to execute it at 12 6 okay so the same just click next start a program 
okay so there are these are the different options available yeah, i'm just want to start the vbs or whatever the or like you know the program which i have created earlier okay in this place i need to give whatever the file which i have created earlier so uh, this is where i saved my vbs file right i am giving i am choosing that file name here just click next and just click finish that's it see once we reach at 126 it will execute the test which i created earlier let's see whether it is able to execute the test or not see 126 qtp got qtp is opened it just print the text after 10 10 seconds it will close the test and it will close the qtp okay so i think uh, you are clear about how to schedule this test so basically what i like you know once the execution is over you can go to the specific test and go to the respective results folder and you can analyze the results right so this is how we will schedule any qtp test okay in my next videos i will uh, demonstrate you about executing couple of tests like you know Uh, like n number of tests and how we can schedule those n number of tests that is a like you know most common realistic example which i will be covering in my next video okay thanks for watching please leave your comments about this video thank you